It's the holiday sell home culture. I'm Anna, and in this video, I'm in our kitchen making some Christmas treats. Now, while I get my ingredients together, how about you take a moment and support our channel by hitting the subscribe button? I'm going to be making peanut clusters in the crock pot. It's a really simple recipe. You just put everything in the crock pot, stir every now and then, and you have treats. So these are the ingredients. 32 ounces of peanuts, or four cups. 12 ounces, or one and a half cups, of semi-sweet chocolate chips. 12 ounces, or one and a half cups of milk chocolate chips. And 12 ounces, one and a half cups of peanut butter chips. And lastly, you need the most important ingredient, which is three cups or 24 ounces of white almond bark. The white almond bark looks like white chocolate, but it's not made from cocoa butter, it's made from vegetable shortening, and that's why it's the most important ingredient. When these cool down, that vegetable shortening is what helps it kind of keep its shape and not get all melty in your hands. So that's my third cup. Now you put it on low for one hour, and you stir every, I don't know, 15 minutes just so you don't burn the chocolate on the bottom. Here goes one hour. Set timer for one hour. One hour is the perfect amount of time. All the chocolate's completely melted and it looks and smells so good. Okay, now I just have to scoop out little clusters and let it set for one to two hours. I'm probably leaning more towards two, but here we go. Gooey, chalky, chocolatey goodness. This recipe makes about five dozen peanut clusters and I'll have it linked in the description below. Now I just have to let these cool and set. As a gift for my chocolate loving sister, I filled this glass jar with the peanut clusters and I personalized the outside by etching it. Here's a video of me etching this jar and some other glass gifts. I've put stencils on all the glassware and they're ready to be etched. Really quick rundown, shake a bottle, paint the etch on, leave it there for a minute and then rinse it off. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I also personalized these glass mugs as a gift and now I want to turn them into a hot chocolate treat. So I have my hot chocolate, my marshmallows, and some triangle bags. So I'm going to put the hot chocolate into the bag, which is going to fit right inside the mug, and then I'm going to top it with marshmallows. Now, the hot chocolate container says it's two tablespoons for three and a quarter cups. And these hold one full cup. So I'm gonna go really heaping two tablespoons.
glass mugs in this box, but I want to display it in sort of like a cute way and I want to make sure I protect them. So I have some of this crinkly cut paper. I have cute little stir sticks. They're not even stir sticks, I don't know, they look like mini beaters. Some ribbon and paper. Take the lid off. This did take a few attempts to package up, but now I know the glass is secure, nothing's gonna break, and it just needs wrapping paper to be ready for Christmas. I'm making a quick and tasty holiday treat for us to enjoy. It's sweet and salty, and only needs three ingredients. You'll need pretzels, caramel filled chocolates like Rolo or these Caramilks, and M&Ms. I have both peanut M&Ms and regular M&Ms. To make the treats look festive, I'm using the red and green M&Ms, but I have used pecans before, and those taste amazing, so you can be creative with your topping. Okay, for the first step, you need to spread out the pretzels on a baking sheet. Now you top them with the caramel. Chocolate's on, the oven's heated to 350, and I just need to pop these in for three minutes. Fresh out of the oven and the chocolate is soft. Well, it's softened, and so you just start by squishing your M&M toppings right over the softened chocolate. You do have to work quickly because the chocolate does firm up quicker than you would expect. If that's an issue, you can do this in smaller batches, but these are so yummy. That's it, they're done. It's three ingredients and three minutes in the oven. These are gonna look so adorable as part of my coffee bar. Thank you for spending some time with me in my kitchen. I hope you incorporate some of these simple treats into your holidays this year. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. I'll see you in the next one because I've got some chocolate to go snack on. Happy holidays. Okay, sorry. Why am I apologizing? In today's video, I have an itchy nose. Oh gosh. Okay. Maybe I should stand with my feet flat. Really? Now I have to go wash this. Oh. I'm going to make a quick and taste holiday Quick and take what the caramel filled chocolates like Oreo 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 doesn't have Oreo neither of those.